Surah 151. In the beginning of Aden there lived the Jumilees, a small people, no more than four feet tall. The Jumilees stayed to themselves, rarely going amongst other races. They did not have leaders or a government of any kind, nor did they have priests of their religion. The Jumilees believed that God was everything, that no one need worship God or to exalt God, for they believed they would be worshipping themselves. They didn't need leaders because they each knew what to do to live in harmony. They also did not believe it right for one person to be over another. Since everything was God, therefore how could God be over God? The Humiles also did not have villages or cities, but families lived separately of other families, usually several miles apart. They did not teach their children anything or punish them for doing things wrong, as the children followed the example of their parents and grew up honorable. The Wumiles ate wild fruit, vegetables, grains, and honey. They ate no meat of any kind. The Jumiles wore no clothes, no jewelry, did not sleep on mats or anything but the ground. They lived in caves and tree houses. The Jumiles were very healthy people. They never became ill and lived for hundreds of years. They had large families, and it wasn't unusual to have as many as 25 children to a family. The Rumiles numbered into the thousands. They occupied a warm, tropical, mountainous area of a large island in the sea. The Gumilis lived this way for hundreds of years. Then explorers came upon them and introduced them to modern civilization, ruining the whole way of life for the Jumilis. Soon the Jumilis were wearing outlandish clothes, were building villages and living around other groups. They were sleeping on mats, building large houses, eating meat, fighting amongst themselves and punishing their children. Soon they had to establish a government and elect leaders to bring order to the people. Eventually the Jumilis were inventing things, and started to have a more advanced civilization. The nation was split into two separate nations. One nation became greedy with power and tried to take over the other nation. War broke out. Crimes of murder, robbery, rape and cheating went on throughout both nations. People no longer lived as long. They became ill and died of disease when still very young. They became very unhappy people. Eventually their war became so great and their weapons so powerful that they wiped out their civilization to all but a hundred people. These hundred intermarried with outsiders, their children also intermarried, and soon all the Jumilis' race was wiped out. When the explorers first arrived, they had come as missionaries for their religion. They had come to convert this happy, peaceful people, and they forced their religion onto these people through trickery and lies. Because of these missionaries, they ruined and wiped out a whole civilization in the name of a god who had created this perfect civilization, the settlement of the earth. Surah 152. In the early times at the beginning of the settlement of the earth, men set up guidelines in which to live so that all peoples who followed these guidelines might remain free and live in a happier coexistence with all creatures. Thus, these were the guidelines. Take not anything from another which belongs not to you. Neither lie or bear false witness to render a thing from another. For the cosmic forces will take from you all that you have. Take not the life of another living and breathing creature of the air nor eat of its flesh, lest the cosmic forces bring war amongst your own people. Enslave no human or creature that breathes the air, lest the cosmic forces bound your body against its territory. Hate not any part of creation or sit in judgment against any of creation, lest the cosmic forces run rampant through your life. Force no one to do with their body as they so will, lest the cosmic forces bring down wrath upon your life. Do not enslave your children, lest the cosmic forces turn from you. Strike no man in anger of a trifle or in time of pleasant pastimes. Least the cosmic forces take away all your pleasure. Do not lock a human or an animal in a cage or restrict their freedom. Least the cosmic forces remove your health and mind. Do not put fire or lightning upon the body or the cosmic forces will remove your wealth and health. Restrict no man to roam freely upon the land if he comes in peace or the cosmic forces will deny your life upon the land. Put no poisons into your body that you wouldn't give to your own mother. Least the cosmic forces take your health and life. Never blame your laws or your failings upon the Creator, or the cosmic forces will deny your existence. Be careful what and how you speak, for the power of creation is in you, as well as its destruction. Surah 153. Those who live by the words of the Creator live well, but those who live not by the words of Creator know no well way. Surah 154. If any other say the Creator has written a book, or that a book is the words of God, and there is no other words, they are a terrible liar, and a foul untruth pours from their lips. 
For there are many words and many books of existence, but the Q'anar, Beth, is the only words one need to follow, for all other words of God that are of the truth are also the same. Surah 155. If any man says creation started upon the earth, and that life is only upon the earth, that man is a terrible liar, and beware of that man. Least man lead you astray and into the pits of despair. Surah 156. Beware of the man who makes a mockery of the Creator. He lead thee into the negative path and ruin your mind. Surah 157. If any man threatens you with Hod or the forces of the negative way, because you will not follow after his lies, that man I will destroy, and if you follow after him, I will destroy you also, for I shall not see my plan made imperfect, for I shall destroy my own mistakes. Surah 158. Let none of my creations turn against another of my creation, nor let no man decide which part of my creation it shall love and which part he shall not love, for I shall destroy him and the nation of his unworthy followers. Surah 159. You cannot love part of my creation and hate the rest any more than you can love part of me and hate the rest of me. For all of creation is of me and I it. Surah 160. Those who set up false religions and false gods before me deny me and I shall deny them and pour my wrath upon their land for both the good and the bad shall perish. For you shall know them, for they will say they are better than the animals and plants and make a mockery of me and my creation. They shall say their leaders are chosen by me that those who do not do as these leaders tell them to do will be punished in my name. Woe unto them that say these things, for they are false teachers, the children of Hod, the outcast of my creation who would sit in my place. Woe unto those that follow these leaders and their lies, lest they lead you to Hod. Surah 161. All things were created in my image. None is chosen or higher than another. None is above or below the other. For all that there is is me, and all that there is cometh from me. For all that there is cometh from my power, holds my power, is my power, is me, shall always remain me. Try not to sit in my place, for you are not the creator or the source of all power. Or can you hope to be, even if you become a master or live a trillion eons? For there is only one master creator of all things. I am that creator, and you are part of my creation, as mighty as all the rest of my creation, yet not mightier. It is the source and power of all life and all creation. What I have therefore created I can take away, even all that there is within a twinkling. Beware of any creature that shall war against me, for I shall destroy them as imperfect and as a hindrance to its perfect plan. Surah 162 For in the beginning I was alone and within myself and without thought. Therefore I thought not to be alone, and my thought became action. Thus action was created, thus I knew of its power, and from this action came other thoughts, and these thoughts created action, whence all the universe was thus created by this action. Surah 163 From within myself all that has been created cometh from me, by me is me. It is not part of me, it is all of me, for all that there is is by me, from me is me. And whence it goes out it could return to the same and become creation thus in reverse. For whatsoever has gone out shall return to its creator. Thus that which does return shall become again the seed and compact itself without thought. Surah 164 I created all things in my image, for all that I thought was the creation and total sum of myself, because I am many forms I cannot walk as a man amongst men, nor stand as a tree amongst trees, or any stone amongst stones, but I can set myself up amongst my many forms over masses of others of these forms, and thus I have. I am the mighty eagle, lord of the air. I am the mighty white whale, lord of the seas. I am the great cobra snake, lord of the ground. I am the great brown bear, lord of the forest. I am the great elephant, Lord of Might. I am the great blue spruce, Lord of Trees. I am the great bamboo, Lord of the Grasses. I am the great poppy, Lord of the Blossoms. I am the great scarab, Lord of the Insects. I am the great bumblebee, Lord of Flying Insects. I am the brimstone, Lord of Fire. I am the ruby, Lord of Gems. I am salt, Lord of Life. I am gold, Lord of Metal. I am silver, Lord of Beauty. I am all of these. They are not part of me, for they are me. They are created in my image because my image is them. Look not for me to walk as a lone man amongst men, for if I was to do so, that which is would be no more. For even I cannot do which I set about to in my perfect plan as the impossible, nor can I do that which I thought to be even impossible for me. For if I created myself a man to walk amongst men, and was no longer in any of my forms while I remained a man, I should have no place to walk, no one to talk to, no where to go. I would not be amongst men, nor could I look like a man any more, for I would become a thoughtless thing without form, without action, without being, and that which is nothing I would become. Surah 165 
you have thought that with the Creator nothing is impossible, but with you that is so, but with me that is not so, for I have created the impossible, therefore I cannot do the impossible. If I had not created the impossible, I could create the impossible, and all things with me would become possible. But because I limited myself within reasoning of myself before I thus created anything, I have created for myself a limit as to what I can create. But unto a man it would seem I can create the impossible, for a man is my illusion, and amongst my illusions there are barriers as it is with all my creation. For all my creation is but an illusion, for my thoughts became things. Are your thoughts only illusions? Are your thoughts things? For only the Creator's thoughts can become living illusions, with form and intelligence, for that is the greatness of being the Creator. That is the apartness of the Creator from all its creation. Everything that there is is my illusion and whatever comes to be or whatever future is foretold or seen or experienced or felt or lived cannot change, for it is but an illusion which shall go away as I think of other things to take its place, and thus creating new illusions. For all illusions are mine, even your illusions, for you cannot think thoughts or create illusions without me, for I am you and you are me. You exist because I thought you up, and if I stop thinking of you, you are no more. For as I thought of you, you came into being from my thoughts, and I saw you only because I made you up from my thoughts. You are but an illusion. You do not exist except in my thoughts, and unless you were the first thought of me, you could not know you were an illusion, for you believe yourself real. You believe you exist and are like me, but I tell you this. Outside of my thoughts, you do not exist. You are not real. When I no longer think of you and forget you, you will be no more and the illusions of you will be gone. You believe that all you see in the world and everything upon it is real because when I thought you up, I gave you the power to think, but I didn't give you the power of knowing who or what you really were. For if I had done this, you would have misused your knowledge and set out to destroy all that I had thought up even though you would have failed. Yet it was not my plan for you to know. Now I tell you these things, yet I give you a choice that by living a certain way and doing certain things, I will continue to remember you, and you shall have eternal life, and that which is my illusion will not be yours. For you shall become whole in me, and know all that I know, and be with the fullness of me, realizing and experiencing the thought with me. For in this state you shall remain forever, and the illusions which were mine alone to enjoy will also be yours, and you too can have illusions which shall become real, for you shall be in the AKA existence. The state of being at the beginning and thus creating outward the same thoughts as I have created, and thus you shall come to the perfect understanding of knowing that all that there is, is but an illusion, and thus you shall never cease to think lest you become alone. Surah 166, I shall think thoughts without end, for if I cease to think all that there is shall pass away and it shall be alone, not even realizing its own existence. Even as you sleep you think thoughts and the thoughts become dreams, the dreams are your illusions, but are they any less real than my thoughts are? If you cease to think, you too shall become alone and not know your existence, like a man in trance, for he knows not his own existence. Therefore I shall always think thoughts, and because my thoughts are my creation, my creation shall go on without end, for I shall create without end. This is why I must create without end, for if I stop creating whatsoever there is shall be no more. Surah 167 If you cease to think, you too shall be no more. If your mind thinks not, or ceases to think, or ceases to function, your body would cease to function, and your spirit would have to depart from the body in order for you to continue thinking unhampered. Therefore your illusion of yourself would go on as you believe of your existence. But your existence beyond yourself does not exist. If you believe that there is other creation about you, this is only your illusion, for when you cease to think, this illusion shall go away the same as when I cease to think. If you explain this to others, they shall say they shall not go away, and they shall not believe you. But when you no longer exist, that which you saw and felt shall not exist with you. Therefore, is it not already illusion that you believe of what you feel and see as real? If you are creator and thought of things and believed of what you thought was real, does it make it so? Remember, you are me and I am you. So what I thought, you also thought. So how can you know it's real? Surah 168, whatsoever you think, so shall it be. Whatsoever you send out, the same shall return to you. Whatsoever action you commit, the same shall be unto you. Whatsoever thought enters into your mind, so it shall be. Whatsoever energy you put forth, the same shall be unto you. Surah 169. I am all and my power is all. Therefore, whatsoever you do is the same that I do. Every creature that lives and is created is me, and I am it. Because man is of the supreme intelligence, 
I have set him up to rule the cosmos, but if he misuses this rulership, I will take away his power in the hereafter, and he shall rule no more. If man enslave a lesser creature than oneself or inflict pain, I shall cast him into Hod, and that creature shall then become his master for all eternity. If any lesser creature kill a man wantonly, I shall destroy their spirit and they shall be no more. If a creature of flesh eats another, to that one shall come the suffering of the body. Surah 170 Neither eat flesh of creatures of the water, or creatures of the air, or creatures that walk the ground, or creatures that crawl under the ground, lest their body become afflicted. Surah 171 I hold no secrets unto any of my creatures, and anything you shall ask me I will answer. Anything you wish to be taught I will teach. Anything you wish to know, I will give you the knowledge of. Even though I shall teach you, you could not know one trillion of one trillion of the things that I knows, for I am the creator of all, even your creator. I am the all, I am God, I am the one thought, I am the mighty, I am the oneness. I am the prava of all, I am the I am, I am all creation. I am your father, I am your mother, I am your brother, I am your sister, I am your son, I am your daughter, I am your grandfather, I am your grandmother, I am your aunt, I am your uncle, I am your niece, I am your nephew, I am your cousin, I am a stranger, I am your best friend, I am your ox, I am your dog, I am your swine, I am the tree over your dwelling, I am the bricks of your dwelling, I am the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, the snakes under the ground, the very air you breathe the very water you drink, the very fire that warms you. I am all of these, for I am all and all is me. Surah 172, whatsoever I create, I shall take away at another time, and he who tries to stop what I shall take away, I shall take him away and shall take away his kinsmen. He who interferes with my creation or the taking away of my creation by me, I shall destroy, and the very ground he walks on I shall destroy. If I take a life or if I decide to take a life, let no man hold unto this life or try to stop me, for I am the God and whatsoever it wishes to do, I shall do, and no creature has the power against me or the means to conquer my power, for it is my creation, I dreamed it up and I shall take it away at will. Neither misuse my creation or change it, for only I can change it or have the right. I am the power and the might, let no man forget it. If I create a life, only I shall have the right to take it away. Any creature which tries to take my place, I shall destroy and only I shall have that right. Therefore do not take the life of those who have taken a life, or I shall destroy you and the very ground you walk on, for you shall be no better than those who first took a life. Surah 173, lock no creature away in a cage or take his life. If a man or other creature wrongs you or your kinsman, exile that one from your very area unto the high mountains, or on an island or unto the colder lands, or unto the barren deserts, and let the wrongdoers live amongst their own kind and do wrong only amongst their own kind. He who exiles or cages up one who hath done no wrong, I cast unto Hod. Surah 174 Blessed be those who follow my teachings and my words, for they shall not want for food, for clothing, or dwelling places, or finery, or greater knowledge. And for those who live by my teachings, I will bless one hundredfold.